Hey everybody, I'm currently in a town in the north of Madagascar called Diego Suarez. Been here for almost two weeks now. I really like it here. I really like it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be staying here probably a couple more weeks. I came here from Majingo. I was in Majingo for like four or five days. And the bus ride was like 26 hours. We stopped in Ambanja, the Ambalobi. And I was okay for like the first 20 hours. But the last few hours just worried on my back. It really did a number on my back, the trip. And so for like the first week I was here, every time I got out of bed, I, I would have this sharp pain in my back. Just the amount of potholes on the road constant swerving road is just I can only think of like two stretches where the road is smooth that's how incredible we got it the roads are here anyway got here and I like here so. Up ahead here is my one of my favorite spots. It's called Boulangerie Amical. And I come here almost every day. I'm staying not too far from here. A lot of people come here, especially around 3 30 or 4. Right now it's at 4 p.m. So long. Like Majinga can be very, it's cooler here. It's not as hot as Majinga was, but it's still pretty hot. So most people stay, are not outside until maybe four o'clock in the afternoon. Up ahead is like the local little park, the Hotel de Ville. Hotel de Vuca, I think it means kind of like City Hall, right in the left up here. It's much smaller than the City Hall in uh, Tamatan. But it's, you get a nice little park here and people congregate, this little playground for kids. Yesterday, Sunday, there's a lot of people here. It's actually some kids break dancing and stuff like that. They have really nice uh, melons here. And so every day, these ladies come around with melons, selling melons and bananas and stuff, and mangoes. Every day I buy like two of them, they're just so delicious. And uh, like the local supermarket, like the supermarket for expats kind, it's called Score. I saw that melons for 10,500. Here they'll sell them to you for like 3,000. So that's how big the difference is. There's a little park here. Yeah, a lot of French, it uh, seems like a lot of French uh, retired expats here, as opposed to Majinga, where I didn't see many, not as many as I expected. And also, in Virginia, the nightlife is, kind of, nightlife is kind of disappointing, but here it's better than I expected. They have a bar called um, Taxi B, and every night they have a live bound, and pretty much every night it's, there's people there. You got some tourists here, like right now there's a lot of Italian tourists, it seems. Not a lot, but, you know, quite a few. And so you see them down here, you see my taxi B. Uh, I saw a big group of, like every night at Taxi B, you see a group of tourists having a great time, no matter what day, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. So this is Rue Colbert, which is kind of like the, I guess you call it the 
main place for uh, tourists, main street. We've got a lot of uh, inexpensive hotels here, 60 or 70,000, which is like less than 15 US dollars a night for a hotel. The hotel's not that great, but the location is really good. And also, or about to coming up on the Grand Hotel on the right there. The Lotus Hotel, there's just tons of hotels on the street. Just walk in and get a hotel, don't do it online. It's online, most of them are not listed. At booking.com, most of these hotels I don't think are listed. Yeah, on the right here, you've got the Grand Hotel, which costs close to 100 US dollars a night. But I saw pictures of the pool, and the pool is just incredible. So if that's what you want, if you got the money, why not? American flag, French flag. No, I'm not saying. I'm not sure what he's selling there. On the left here is a little uh, cafe. Got really good cappuccino in there and Wi Fi if you need Wi Fi. I've been there a couple times. The waitresses, waiters here are really friendly too. And another thing, it's very cheap here. new bar on the, on the right. This is where uh, you like to start drinking at 9 a.m. That's where you go. You've got a shop that I'm going to hit. They sell these nice Mackey shirts. I like these shirts. And sandals. It's a nice brand. Hotel Imperial on the right. Okay, on the left here coming up is the Score Supermarket. And it's not as nice as the, uh, not as nice as the Score in uh, Jenga. It's quite a bit smaller and the selection's not that good. You know, that bottle the lady just showed me, she, I was wondering what that was, and it turns out it's uh, honey. Indeed, I was wondering what that was. On the trip here, we stopped a few times and had bottles full of that. I was like, what is that? It's honey. And the right here is a nice, if you come here, it's a great little spot to eat. It's called Restaurant like Canteen. Jimmy Bunny. Jimmy Bunny. And that, the canteen is full every night. So, so full. You have to put down extra table and the reason it's food is pretty good and it's so cheap you can eat uh, a full dinner with uh, coffee and a one liter bottle of water for like five us dollars so a lot of people eat there every night and during lunch time Gargot. Gargot means diner. It's like a small little place where you can eat really cheap. The Roasted Cheria, it's like an Italian name. That's a uh, place is also pretty busy at night. 
the, the restaurant and a hotel there. These street dogs, these dogs, um, I hang out around that the cheap restaurant I was talking about earlier and give you a really sad look. Last night I was eating there and an Italian couple came. And the lady, it seemed like she ate two bites of her food, then she took the whole plate and went and fed the dogs for the rest of her dinner. This place here, it's called Yo, La Vaine. Oh, it's just a lot. The la lady keeps trying to sell me t-shirts. La Vaine used to be like a, used to be like a really popular club, but since the taxi be opened, when I heard since the pack to be open, like nobody goes there anymore. Every time I pass it, there's very few people there, except maybe early evening. So anyway, I just walked to the taxi B and that's it. It's right around the corner here. It's very, one thing I, I love about the city, it's very walkable. You don't really have to take a, we call them bajaj, tuk tuk bajaj. They don't have to. Kambusa. Kambusa right here is a really nice restaurant too. You can walk almost anywhere. There's a beach here, but it's uh it's like an hour and a half or something away. Called uh Bermena. Yeah, see this road here in front of me? I spent t basically 26 hours on a bus, little bus, going over roads just like this, even worse. 26 hours. If you have back problems, don't even try it. Anyway, so this is the Taxi B. Every night there's a lot of people here. Mostly like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm gonna do a nightlife video. I've been taking a little bit of video in here, so I'll put up a nightlife video at some point.